Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Thursday here, towards the end of April, 23rd April to be exact. Uh, not great, uh, not a great amount of action going on in the currency markets. We do have PMIs today and jobless claims. But to be fair, um, economic releases don't really mean too much. Everything's going to be terrible. Um, EU leaders today also will be holding uh, some sort of video conference again um, to try and finish up business on their European recovery fund. This could hurt Euro if these knuckleheads can't come to a consensus and can't figure this out. Um, could be negative for BTPs as well. So let's take a look at what's going on here. Uh, Euro's on its lows already. The low's been 04, high's been 24. So you can see very, very small range. European Eurovol's been crushed. We talked about the amount of gamma that's just lurking out here. Um, in the marketplace so I'm not like super excited about trading euro um, downside looks more in play just from a chart perspective but are we going to get through uh, 10770 I, I don't think so uh, but that's kind of the key key point uh, if anything we're buyers down there but again, we're not we're not trading euro. Cable also looks relatively weak. Uh, inside day yesterday didn't come close to making any gains or losses against this big red bar. Uh, we like cable lower still. Dollar Swiss, as everybody knows, we are sellers of this. Uh, tactically, yesterday we were at 55. Nothing got done. We were going to be doing the same between 55 and 75. We're sellers of dollar Swiss today. Dollar yen, you can see these lines that have been drawn. This is the four hourly chart. Squeezing in loads of false breaks, both sides. Traded up to 94 yesterday. We've had a 15 point range overnight, so very, very quiet. Eventually, this has to resolve itself either through 108.10 or. 106.90. Euro yen surprised me yesterday. I thought I thought this move up here, sort of to 20, was gonna was gonna create some topside action, um, but no, did not. Here's the line that was kind of defining this. We bearish and gold from the four hours uh, on the day. You can see big red day. Um, even though we made a marginal new high. We're basically inside the day before, so I don't know what to make of Yuri, and I do know that if we get below um, 116.10, we'll be we'll be selling this, um, and that would probably mean there's some real serious problems going on in 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 the European Union. Sterling yen, you can remain quietly short. We sold. Um, we sold 27s yesterday, which 29 the high. I was I was pretty good, um, but we didn't keep it. We were just bored and shouldn't have been trading anyway. Um, but sterling yen looks like a pretty good horse left hand side from the charts. I don't know what the story is, um, but from the charts, dollars are same story, just buy dips. South Africa's fucked. Euro Swiss. I had the inkling yesterday to sell some at 30. Then I was like, what are you doing selling Euro Swiss at 30? Obviously, there's no point in even trading Euro Swiss. It's, it's so dead. But this, like the Euro Yen chart, like the Euro Dollar chart, is kind of telling us there's some problems. There could be some problems percolating in Europe. I mean, people are just crushing Euro Swiss. 
everyone knows the SNB is here buying it. Um, but nobody cares, right? They're like, thanks for liquidity, pal. Danke. Gleekfalls. Danke, Gleekfalls, as they say in uh, Swiss Deutsch. Um, Aussie. Middle of nowhere, not doing too much. Not really sure what to do with it, so we leave it alone. Euro Aussie has a good point down here, technically, 170.30. That again is if Euro takes a takes a digger today. Euro Aussie could be your horse, but we don't really like that. Aussie Yen quietly waiting to sell this at 70. Nothing to do today. Dollar CAD. Also kind of in the middle of nowhere, you know, if you look at the four hourlies. We were up at 142.60, then we were down at 141.10, now we're at 141.70. I was really seriously thinking about buying it yesterday, just because oil's in such a mess. But then, I don't know, oil kind of quietly looks like it's turned. I didn't do anything. Nothing really much to do there today. Gold, hectic as always. Um, let's go to the dailies. Yesterday traded down to 96. We talked about buying it through 19. We did not do that. Just because we, we've been sucking at gold. Um, we've been sucking at gold. That's uh, it's a good... It's a good description of our gold trading the last month. Anyway, it's cruising higher. This is uh, one of the three stooges. Gold, dollar, Swiss, dollar, Norway. Cruising higher here, gold. Anyway, you should be long gold. I wish we were long gold, but we're not. Uh, let's see what happens. S&P is quiet overnight. 20 handles. It's nothing in S&P world. Um kind of in the middle of nowhere here the fact that we traded up um, to 08 which was kind of for the death knock of this line is interesting this could go either way now here from the tactical book from the trend book should be short today the tactical book we will not be selling high ones in the tactical book we're more likely to sell low ones actually uh, but as of this moment right now, it's not super clear, so we're just standing down. We were short fixed income yesterday. Didn't really do a whole hell of a lot. You know, we sold those sixes, oh fives. We ended up, you know, buying thirty ones in the tens. Incredibly boring. Super low vol. I'm not sure why you would want to bother trading this at this moment. The Fed is in. Uh, Sorry, the Treasury's in doing their QE. We love this a lot lower, but now is not the time. Boone's paid better yesterday. We talked about it up at 50 on Twitter. Short Boone's paid um, down to 65. You can, um, you can wait to resell Boone's today until this meeting until this video conference meeting is over. It's, it's 3 o'clock um, Swiss time. BTPs, I was looking at that. Uh, they're going to open with a little bit of a bounce. You can sell these up at 136. BTPs are screwed. Uh, but keep in mind, if they do do this, um, if they do come to some sort of consensus on this fund, BTPs will pop. So, you might want to stay flexible until late afternoon um, Swiss time. As you can see, we're in a, one of these uh, similar situations as yesterday. Not a whole lot going on. Um, we are short dollar Norway. So dollar Norway at 78 yesterday, as we as we mentioned. Um, we're just going to be trading this from the short side. One of the uh, one of the three stooges. Um, Dollar Norway looks all right. 
especially because oil um, this chart chart the charts in oil are useless now but just to show you it's a little bit bid right it says up 10% which is true but 10% is a buck 50 so that's not even useful at all point is it kind of looks like it's turned um, and if we can get back up through 17 bucks you know everyone is now looking left hand side we were all looking right hand side the day it went negative so it's down to 10 bucks we're like oh this is a buy now after that everyone's looking left hand side and of course it's kind of bid um, anyway this will help our um, dollar Norway position short dollar Norway looks all right all right I've said enough not a lot to do with the European Open you can muck around if you want to we're gonna kind of take a very quiet morning and, and refresh ourselves uh, with some exercise we'll be back at lunchtime to check the charts and get ready for when the Yanks come in good luck out there people catch you tomorrow